Chernobylite, developed by the Farm 51 and published by All In Games, is a strange mishmash of ideas, but it's also one I quickly grew to love. Released first on PC in mid-2021, and later that year for the last-gen consoles, it's now received a next-gen, or at least current-gen, overhaul, with resolution and performance modes. Though the screenshots may make it look like a generic survival and crafting-oriented experience with some horror elements, and yes, that does form a core part of the gameplay loop, it's the unfolding narrative and player choice that are given equal weighting. Unlike many choice-driven games, it's not about making decisions and seeing how events play out. Rather, Chernobylite asks you to make decisions, watch events play out, learn from those events, and then tweak the past to improve the present. In Chernobylite, you take control of Igor Kimonyuk, a nuclear physicist returning to the Chernobyl exclusion zone on the hunt for his fiance Tatiana, who went missing during the incident 30 years prior. However, the opening sequence provides more questions than answers. Why has she been silent for so long? Why is he experiencing hallucinations of Tatiana that alternate between peaceful and menacing? Why is he as fit as his much younger companions? Who is the technologically advanced black stalker hell-bent on capturing him? And what are the creatures that emerge from space-time rifts? Now, to its credit, Chernobylite actually answers all these questions during a 20-ish hour sci-fi adventure that slowly transitions from weird to batshit. You progress the narrative by tackling daily story missions that usually shift you between several regions in the exclusion zone, periodically meeting potential team members and deciding on mission outcomes. These decisions both affect your chance of recruiting teammates and shift the loyalty of other team members up and down. The end goal is to accumulate a full team, keep them all loyal, acquire information and unique equipment, find and craft yourself some better gear, and pull off a complex heist in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant itself. Your options during the heist which team members survive, and the endings are all affected by your choices up to that point and those made during that final mission. When it comes to the basic gameplay, Chernobylite is a competent, albeit familiar, AA hybrid of first-person exploration, combat, stealth, resource gathering, crafting, and some light RPG elements. The gunplay rewards positioning and skill, sure, but it's the weapon upgrades and training perks that improve your damage output. The e-simple stealth system also allows you to sneak past humans and drop stragglers stealthily, but that's mostly down to deliberately stupid AI. There's only a handful of resources you need to manage, and these all feed into a streamlined crafting system that has you expanding your refuge at night, creating new workstations, crafting and modifying gear, and even building unique structures within the zone to reduce the spread of radiation clouds, the frequency of Chernobylite storms, and delay the arrival of the Black Stalker. It's simple and fun. You need to suspend your disbelief when you construct an elaborate computer workstation from scrap electronic parts, chemicals, and some mushrooms. If you find you don't like juggling multiple systems, there are at least three customizable difficulty sliders to individually tailor the combat, crafting, and survival challenge. To further simplify things, your teammates, in addition to their roles in the final heist, can be kitted up and sent on daily resource gathering missions. As long as you pick the team member with the right aptitude, and therefore the highest success chance, you can keep your rations, ammunition, and medical supplies stocked up while you focus on the narrative beats. Those plot missions are brisk, and they always end with a decision, while the PDA makes finding resources and investigation clues easy while you're exploring. Early excursions into each region of the zone also offer optional encounters, often creepy, that flesh out the state of the world and lead to further encounters. For those that find the high-stakes decision-making stressful, the shards of the titular Schnobelite that you find as you explore allow you to enter a fractal timeline, interact with, and alter key decisions any time you die, or self-terminate. Thankfully, Schnobelite always informs you of the consequences and the impact on related missions. Your companion's dialogue shifts accordingly, and new missions may even appear. Now, admittedly, having played through Schnobelite two and a half times at this point, the narrative is not quite as non-linear as advertised. Within a single playthrough, you could experience all the missions and interactions as you tweak your decisions towards an optimal outcome. So think of it as more a compelling narrative metagame. What elevates the experience is the increasingly goofy and tonally inconsistent sci-fi story coupled with your eccentric team members. That said, for those that enjoy replaying games, Chernobylite is worth a second run, as you'll recognize the significance of numerous creepy encounters you might have otherwise dismissed as random scares in your first playthrough. So, if you're returning to Chernobylite, or the next-gen version has caught your attention, what can you expect? Well, six months of patches and updates are much appreciated, given the rough console launch, but the more obvious upgrades are to the visuals and the overall performance. Now, I'd argue the last-gen version still looked photorealistic at times, and provided an immersive atmosphere, but there are notable improvements. For the premium console owners, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X owners, 
You get a 4K 30 frames per second resolution mode that features ray traced lighting and reflections for an even more realistic rendition of Chernobyl. Xbox Series S owners get a 1440p 30 mode without ray tracing, but they still benefit from improved shadows, environmental details, and texture quality. Honestly, the weakest element remains the dated and awkwardly animated character models that they can't ray trace away. For those who prefer going in guns blazing, all current gen consoles have access to a responsive 1080p 60 frames per second performance mode, albeit at the expense of some visual settings and ray tracing. And I found this ran perfectly on both the PS5 and Xbox Series S versions we've tested. Honestly, it was hard to go back to resolution mode after experiencing the fluidity of the performance mode, even if that meant sacrificing visual niceties. All these consoles also benefit from massively improved load times, while the PS5 version uses haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers to give each weapon a distinctive feel when fired. When it comes to the audio side of things, the voice acting is more entertaining than good, but the ambient audio and soundtrack remain excellent. Despite several scripted sequences and horror elements, Chernobylite has plenty moments of quiet exploration, giving you time to admire the visuals, soak up the ambient audio, and enjoy an unexpectedly serene soundtrack. Chernobylite, even after this upgrade, is not going to be for everyone, but for those that stick with it, you'll find a compelling hybrid of a game that is far greater than the sum of its parts. It provides a compelling, non-linear-ish narrative experience that encourages you to mess around with the timeline and perfect your endgame heist, all without having to replay chunks of content. As a bonus, the shorter mission structure makes it great for those with limited gaming time, but also enjoyable for binge sessions. If there's one caveat to consider for console owners, it's that the free content updates, which include some new zones and quests, as well as some paid for weapon skin packs, tend to only arrive a few months after the PC version. If you were someone who played the last gen version and were put off by the performance and stability issues, this free upgrade is a good reason to come back to it. For those that missed it at launch, but say enjoyed their prior game, Get Even, with its weird, twisting and unpredictable narrative, Chernobylite scratches much of the same itch, only with a far more engaging gameplay loop.